hello i hope you're doing swell and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is alexis i would love it if you stuck around so i was getting ready to film the astrology challenge and i was kind of looking at willow creek at like the save file because we are also doing like making over the townies and renovating their house so in the last two episodes we actually did the bff household we remade them and updated their house and then i was going to go in and actually update my lit my air legacy house because it's looking a mess from managed worlds but as i was looking around i was like okay story progression has done its thing again the spencer kim lewis house the grandparent died and the little girl aged up and then the goth household has so many new babies as well Bella is still looking looking young and youthful but I was just like looking around at the world so I was like okay like the pancakes they're still looking the same but then I look over here and I'm like who are the Nairs? I've never heard of them so I'm thinking it might just be like my game repopulating the area and they moved over to this area so I thought for today is like let's make over the townies so we can give them a much needed makeover i have no clue who they are they don't have like a description or anything like that like some of the other townies but since they moved over to willow creek and we're currently playing in this world we're going to give them a proper makeover we have perry and then vivin uh nair and Perry is a friend of the animals, a kleptomaniac, proper and hot-headed. And then Vivin, Vivin is a serial romantic, um, a cat lover, and active. So it says that Vivin is like a young adult, yeah, and then this is their mom, Perry. So we're gonna do them a makeover. I have no clue who they are, but we can come up with some type of lore once we look into their houses. Um, but this is what Perry is looking like. So this is her. Now, what is she? She put on one of everything. She got a ring, a watch, a bracelet, another ring. She got knee high stockings, bowling shoes. She got a business outfit on, like from, waist up she looks decent but then like waist down she looks a hot mess so this is her every day her formal is not too bad she's still rocking the bowling shoes um athletic that's basically like what every townie wears sleepwear like she looks cute right here and then you get down to the bottom she got some freaking ballet flats on and some socks uh her party wear lots of colors but they kind of match just a little bit. Um, this is her swimwear. It's not that bad. Her hot weather, it's it's a choice. And then that's her everyday um, cold weather outfit. And it looks like she got the baby hairs laid, which she didn't have in the other ones because she got her do-rag on. So we're gonna give her a much needed makeover. So kind of like what I did with the BFF household, we're just going to take everything off and we're going to do actually the everyday wear together. And I'm going to show you what I do for the other outfits for the categories. But let's just get the everyday kind of situated. Um, I like her eyebrows and I don't mind her hair, but I think I might change it to a different short look. Something like, that's kind of cute. Hey, Bobo, <laughs> my puppy's down here looking at me talking. But maybe we'll do that because that kind of fits her a little bit better. And then for her eyebrows, I like the shape and they match. So I was wondering if we can go a little bit more gray with her eyebrows without it looking too stark. That might work. And then for skin details, since she's a little bit older, we might add some of these wrinkles just to show that she's aged like wine. And then I think for teeth, yeah, that's fine. We'll keep our teeth the same. There's nothing really different with that. And we'll keep our skin tone the same as well. For makeup, I don't know if I want to do something that's really dark on her. Let me look some eyeliner just to kind of wake her eyes up a little bit. Um, I don't really like that. Oh, I kind of like that wing. Let's do that. And then for cheeks, we can add some blush. Maybe this little rosy pink just to brighten up her eyes some. And then for lipstick, this is my favorite and I'm gonna keep it in the default color because the default color, it looks good on her. Okay, so I'm guessing, let's say that she's like a kleptomaniac, like 
veterinarian. So we'll, we'll make her a veterinarian, that's what we'll do. Um, so I'm gonna actually filter the outfits by packs and we're gonna do get to work as well as cats and dogs. Since we want her to be like a kleptomaniac veterinarian, we're gonna filter by those two packs since it's like work and then also that cats and dogs world. <laughs> I like that though, it's a mess, but I like it. Maybe she can have some like sleek business wear for every day, something like that. And then for her pants, let me filter as well. I don't know why it doesn't just filter by all of it, but you know, the game is gonna game. Do some little slacks. She looks like she would wear slacks all the time. So let's do some khaki slacks. She's, she's professional. <laughs> and then we can just chuck on some little ballet flats. Nothing too crazy. We'll just do them in brown. And I do want to do her fingernails. So I think she might kick it old school and have just like a basic French tip. That color might be the best with her skin tone. We'll just, we'll just do that. And I actually forgot to put her on some earrings. So let's do just these little classic ones. Unless they have some from Cats and Dogs. I'm not sure. Yeah, they don't. I figured they didn't. We'll just do these little hoops. And I kind of want to see what she looks like with glasses. Maybe we can do these little rims. We can do them in gray. I like it. So that's Perry. This is her everyday wear. I'm going to go through and do her formal, her athletic, and I'm going to show you what we end up with. Okay, so these are the outfits that I picked out for Perry. So she has this cats and dogs blazer on, which you saw some slacks, some little ballet flats, and then her makeup is pretty natural, but she has a bold lip on pretty much every single outfit. For her formal, it's the same as party wear, but I decided to use this city living dress because I thought it was just way too cute. It looked really good on her skin tone. And so since it has like some little gold accents and she already had that gold necklace on, I decided to put these little gold earrings on from Dream Home Decorator, I believe. And then also just some base game little gold shoes. And she has French tips as well on every outfit. So there she goes there's perry that's her formal as well as her party wear and then for her athletic she had these red kind of adidas on so i decided to keep with that theme so i found these pants i think they're from discover university um they're just some leggings and then the matching base game um black and red little zip up and then her glasses kind of changed from the brown to the silver to the black so just depending on whichever outfit I imagine she has like a ton of glasses to kind of go with her outfits every day but I did put on these little gold hoops for sleepwear I wanted something that was a little bit comfy and casual and then also since she really wanted to have her hair tied up in a do-rag I decided to put a bonnet on her instead so this sweater is from um, eco lifestyle the pants are from city living and then the little bunny slippers are base game and then she has her gray glasses on um, and then her black bonnet party we already went over that but for swimwear i decided to go with one of those stylized looks and then i just added the shoes and the glasses and i changed the color as well so i was looking at the different colors and i kind of like this vibrant color so i imagine she's very like into patterns and very bright colors so when we redo their household we'll come up with some lore as well and then also decorate her room to kind of resemble um, her color pattern but I like that bracelet so I decided to do like pink and blue and then also she had that pink and blue in her hat. She has just some prescription eyeglasses on. I actually didn't go in and put her some earrings on which I am. I'm just going to put on some little gold, little go hoops. Yeah, we'll do that. And then these city, uh, city living um, little ballet flats. I think that's cute. And then for hot weather outfit, cats and dogs dress. Oh sorry that's get to work dress i never use this dress so i decided to put it on her for today and then her sandals are base game they just have pink and gold um even though her dress has silver in it but i like to mix up metal so we're not going to pay too much attention to that she has just some blush on some eyeliner as well as like a glossy bold lip but that is her 
hot weather outfit really cute on her and then last but not least is her cold weather outfit she looks like a grandma right here which i love i love this little hat um but this is an eco lifestyle jacket i just thought that it looked cute with like layering it up these are base game jeans yeah and they're a little slouchy um but they fit like lower on her waist but since she has those thick layers on you can't see that they fit kind of low-waisted for her shoes i think this is okay seasons and they're the pink pair and then for her hat, it's a base game, just a little um, nude hat. And then she has that glossy bold lip on and then just some dangle little earrings. But that is Perry. So we're gonna move over to her son, Vivin. Um, and he is a alluring serial romantic, um, a cat lover and very athletic. And he is a young adult. So I'm gonna just change his pronouns to he, him. Wait. No, he's a teen. Oh, he looks way, he looks way older. Okay, we'll just do a teen then. Um, I wish we had those sliders so they look a little bit shorter because he looks like a grown man. But this is his everyday outfit. We'll, we'll work with it. We'll probably keep the pants and the shoes and change the top. Then I'm also gonna go in and change his eyebrows and hair as well. This is his formal. It's so much, it's so much all at once. Oh, Vivin, Vivin, I don't like it. <laughs> he got the ring on too, and the top hat. This is athletic. I don't know if I would pair those hot boy shorts with that, but you know, we might keep them, we'll see. This is his sleepwear. He literally put on everything, got them socks on. Vivin, um, his, his party wear. We might keep that, change the pants so they fit a little bit better on him and some different shoes other than those vampire shoes. The swimwear will probably end up staying the same. His hot weather is not too bad, but he does have that eyeball ring on and all those bracelets. And then his cold weather is not bad at all. We'll just change the shoes. So let's do his everyday wear together just so we can change up his face. So it looks like he has more of a textured hairstyle his mom had, um, more of a straight hairstyle. So we'll look for Afro textures and that light color. And maybe Vivin has long hair. Like we can do like dreads, like locks or something like that. A little mohawk. We can do those little twists. Got a few options. You can do a little afro, but I haven't used this hair yet. So I kind of want to use this one. Let's do that one for Vivin. And then let's get some details. I want to change his eyebrows just to be I love these bushy eyebrows. So we might just make them a little bit more thicker and then I'm gonna color them a little bit darker brown. And I kinda want his hair to be just a shade darker too. Yeah, we'll do that. And then since he's like a teen, I'm guessing he might be going through puberty. So let's do a little, he looks so old right there. I was thinking like a little mustache. Should we do it? Should we do the little mustache? I mean, oh, that's a big mustache. <laughs> Let's do this. We're gonna do this mustache. Yes, Vivin. Okay, I kind of like that default swatch on that Stranger Bill. We see an animal lover and romantic. The mustache is giving me romance. So we're gonna keep that. And then for shoes, I might change these out to something that's like, yeah, more green. I think they have a pair of Converse that are green. I like it. So I'm gonna go in and update all these other outfits and try not to die laughing with that little bitty mustache. And then I'll show you the final reveal of Vivin. Okay, Vivin didn't take long at all and I giggled the whole time because he's just so adorable. So this is his everyday outfit, which we did together. And I actually changed his formal and party. So he has two different outfits for that. But this is his formal since he's a little romantic. I saw this little pink suit and I was like, this looks like Vivin. So so it's from Seasons and it just looks really cute on him. I kept a lot of his jewelry the same just because he came with this, so I'm gonna keep it on. I did take the eyeball ring off because I don't like the eyeball ring. And then we just have these base game shoes on, yeah. So that is Vivin's uh, formal wear, his athletic wear. I think this is a cats and dog top, yeah, since he likes animals. I tried to keep with kind of similar packs. And then for his pants, they are Snowy Escape as well as his shoes. 
since he is athletic as well i imagine he likes to go snowboarding or skiing we might see vivin over in um, mount kamarabi sometime but he just looks so cute and then for his um sleepwear i think this is tiny living yeah i just thought that that looked cute since he had those red socks on i thought that i would keep the red theme but get rid of the socks and then i imagine him and his mom are very very close so they got matching little bunny slippers and then for his party wear he had the shirt on already it is from vampires but for his pants i decided to change them just so they fit him a little bit better those university pants just didn't fit his body type too well in my opinion so i decided to go with these dream home decorator pants and then some cottage living boots and then for his swimwear i kept it the same i think this is base came yeah so i kept that the same and then for his hot weather he has this cats and dogs top on i really want to use the romantic garden stuff pack since i don't really get to use it all too often so i found this swatch that kind of matched the shirt as best as i could and then he had these bracelets on so i decided to kind of play with that color scheme and then he just chucked on some little um converse on some red ones to match his outfit and last but not least this is his cold weather outfit so he already generated with this eco lifestyle no it's actually snowy escape so snowy escape a little backpack and sweater and i wanted to get him some better fitting pants because those just didn't fit him too well so these are just base game jeans snowy escape boots no eco lifestyle boots so that is the nair household they are looking really cute and i do have story progressions on i'm almost positive i'm excited to renovate this house i think it's a two bedroom at least i surely hope so but let me know in the comments down below what the lore is about this maybe since the mom perry is like a kleptomaniac maybe she had to move from a different city uh from what's the what's the cats and dogs world Brindleton Bay but then her husband passed and she stole a lot of stuff so then she decided to kind of move over to Willow Creek so we'll come up with some stuff for them but definitely let me know some lore down in the comments down below give this video a big old like and subscribe down below if you haven't already but until the next video I hope you are doing swell and I will see you very soon 